Hello everyone. I hope you are doing great. In today's video, we are going to talk about how can we create SVG diagrams with the help of ChatGPT. So let's just explore this. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which I talked about the comparison between ChatGPT and Claude.ai? If you are new here, I'm Hassan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment down this video. Let's start today's video without any further delay. So as you know that we use SVG files in our logos and app icons and simple icons which we use in our websites for development. So we are going to ask ChatGPT to generate the SVG code or diagram. As you know that ChatGPT 4.0 or ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo cannot generate the diagrams of SVG. So we have to just generate the code of SVG and then we will paste that code in the text file and change the extension to SVG and then open that file to see the results of ChatGPT. So first of all, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to generate an SVG of a cactus. So let's see, your prompt should be, please generate an SVG of a cactus out in the desert on a sunny day and you have to write no explanation. Let's see what it gives us. So here is a mistake. I did that in form and it should be SVG. So here you have to type SVG and then send. Let's see what it gives us now. So it generated a file which we can download. Let's see if we are able to download this file or not. So here is the SVG file. It downloaded and let's see the code and I'm going to open it with notepad and here it is. So it is ChatGPT 4.0 which can generate the file and you can download that file in any format. For example, if you want to generate a .zip file, you can ask ChatGPT 4.0 to generate it and you will be able to download that file. So let's just open that and here it is our file. So here is the experiment result of ChatGPT 4.0. It generated a cactus and it is it's just in a raw form. So let's just ask to enhance this. You have to type bit, but please now generate a much more detailed image using gradients and paths. Let's see. What it gives us now and it is again generating a file a dot spg file which we can download it easily and open it in our browser it has downloaded or generated a file let's download this and i'm going to paste it in a folder so let's compare the results you can see that it added a gradient something like that here in the path and you can see and compare it with this and it changed the design of this cactus too you can see that it, it, I think it enhanced it a little bit. It's not going to win any reward with that, but I applaud the effort. The cactus has a bit more shape and the horizon is more interesting. It looks like the model is having a hard time getting the direction of arcs correct in the SVG code. Let's try another code. Let's try another prompt. And this time I'm going to type, please generate an SVG of a cactus in the desert on a sunny day. Please make it as detailed as possible use vibrant colors use dramatic lightning i want that i want to feel like i'm there i want something shockingly beautiful let's see what it gives us now and here it has generated the file let's download this and see the result so here it is it looks like an enhanced version and it also added the shadow but the shadow does not reflect the design of this cactus and it actually enhanced enhanced it a bit you can see the leaves here and it also enhanced the design of this too. And if I zoom in to the sun, you can see that it also added the gradient to the sun. So in the, our previous sun, it didn't add the gradient here. It just added the gradient in the path, but didn't add it to the sun. So here is an experiment to the cactus. Let's try generating app UI icons. So I'm going to type, would you generate the SVG code or you can type SVG diagram for Mac toolbar icon that hoggles the selected item preferences pane on and off. I'm going to remove this thing, the word diagram, because I didn't use in here in our previous prompt. So let's just see the result for this. And if you don't know about the item preferences pane on and off, so let me show you what it looks like. So this is what I'm trying to generate SVG file by ChatGPT. Let's see the results generated by ChatGPT 4.0 here. And here it has released the remit of the generating the files which we can download so it can still generate the code the chatgpt 4.0 has a limited feature of analyzing something so let's just ask for the code and i'm going to copy this prompt and paste it again and here i'm going to type code let's say with this prompt now 
So it has been about three to four minutes and the chat GPT 4.0 is, is still generating this code and you can see that how long it has generated till now and it still it says continue generating. So I think chat GPT 4.0 is generating a very much detailed version of this. So let's just ask this prompt again and see what are the results now. So as you can see that we just gave the prompt again and it is still generating the response. So I think we are not going to proceed with this because it is going to take too much tokens and we will not be able to proceed with the other prompts. If you like to experiment this prompt, then just try it with your account. So you may be able to do this in less time and in efficient manner. So here I'm going to ask, please generate an SVG code of a house icon. You can use paths if you want. Make Let's see what it gives us now. And it has generated the code. You know, just copy this code and create a new file to paste this code. Don't forget to change the extension of this file. Then open it with notepad to paste the code. And let's see the result. So you can see that it is pretty much great than I expected because it didn't generate the cactus SVG correctly. And here it has generated the SVG icon of the house and it is looking very much great. Now let's just try generating app icons and I'm going to type right here. Please generate the SVG code of an app icon for I circuit an app that enables you to draw and simulate electronic circuits. The icon should have a nice gradient background and fit in well on the iOS home screen. You can use paths if you want. Let's see what it gives us now and see the results. So here it has generated the SVG code. Let's just use this code and see the results. Change the extension of the file and then paste the code using notepad and open it. So here it is the app icon for iCircuit app and I can understand what is this icon and it looks very much complicated because the uh, symbols that it used in this SVG icon does not relate to iCircuit app that I just asked for. However, these are just experiments that we just tried today and definitely you can try more prompts and more experiments on your accounts of ChatGPT 4.0 or 3.5 Turbo. So this was all about today's video. If you like this video, click the bell icon and don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you will be notified when I publish the next video. Thank you guys for watching.